Borland Smart Pro R service tools are specifically developed to meet the needs of refrigeration technicians. All the benefits of our original kit, plus the Smart Pro R tools, allow temperature readings down to minus 40 degrees, fit any diameter pipe, allow multi coil superheat readings, and 10 times the signal strength. Find out more at SporlandOnline.com. Another service call here. It's after six o'clock. So I said the thermostat was not working, and then they said the unit outside had a problem. So we're going to see which one it actually is. I said the cool is on, but it is not on. I wonder if I put a flow switch on this thing down in the crawl space. So I'm going to take this off and see if we have any power at the thermostat. That off. It's a good spot for that, right? We have zero volts. We have to go from R to C. R to C, we have Jack. So let's get down the crawl space, see what's going on. Here's my setup. When that old America Standard, the air handler got rotted out. See, this is a 2015. Put in this ICP air handler with the piston, and as we can hear, the condensate pump is backed up and running constantly. So either the thing got pinched off, or it's just not pumping, or something. So we'll have to see. I'll take the thing off. I could actually take the thing off here, and we can see if it starts pumping. It sprays water everywhere. So there's our dryer. See, I put a dryer on the inside for once. It's in the crawl space too, go figure. Here's a TXV, R22 TXV that I used because it was rating this air handler with that old one outside, so I just wanted to give it a little bit more control with the TXV. Found a piece of my reflectix down here. Super, so let me take a look in this thing, see if it's gonna pump or not. Here, And we started pumping, it pumped all the contents out. So we have to see what happens with this thing, wherever it goes, see why it's blocked up. I tried to hook up the Mighty Pump and kind of stuff my glove in with the Mighty Pump, try to suck this thing out, but it wouldn't really work because it wasn't really a good fit. So I took the nitrogen and everything that worked because I blew crap all over the place. Yeah, that worked. There was something caught in there for sure. So I'm going to make sure that's the only obstruction. I'm going to put this thing back together. I'm going to get a little slack on this, pull it back over there and attach it again, and then we'll see if it works. I might need to run some copper or just utilize this old drain line, just jack it up. I guess I could, as long as it's free outside, jack it up like here and put a barb adapter on it or something. But I'm going to free this up so I can hook this up again and test out this pump. We need more water. Suck. Gotta be close. Maybe we need one more. We have bottle of water number two. Oh, there she goes. Is she pumping? I see stuff moving. I think. Oh yeah, we good baby, yeah!